In our previous episode, we embarked on a captivating journey through time, exploring the innate human desire to leave behind reminders of our existence. From the haunting beauty of the cave paintings to the artistic brilliance of the Renaissance, we witnessed the evolution of human expression and the quest to preserve our legacy. Thanks to the contributions of ancient Greeks like Euclid and the mastery of artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Johannes Vermeer, we saw the gradual development of optical understanding and artistic techniques. Each era brought its own advancement in technology, paving the way for the birth of photography. Today, we will delve deeper into the early 19th century, a pivotal time when pioneers like Nice von Nietzsche and Rita Gere will build upon the foundation laid during the Renaissance, making groundbreaking discoveries in light-sensitive materials that will forever change the way we capture and immortalize our experiences. But before these two particular guys, someone else was working on immortalizing the world around him. Let's first talk about him. The year was 1800, and Thomas Wedgwood, an English inventor and son of the famous potter Joshua Wedgwood, was driven by his insatiable curiosity. As a member of a renowned Wedgwood pottery family, he had a natural inclination towards artistic and scientific pursuits. Thomas Wedgwood possessed a range of faculties and pursued various scientific and artistic interests. He had a keen interest in chemistry, conducting experiments to explore chemical reactions and properties of different substances. Thomas Wedgwood's multi multidisciplinary approach, combining his scientific and artistic faculties, allowed him to make some significant contributions in various fields. About photography, Wedgwood's concept was both simple and revolutionary. To capture the shadows of objects on a light-sensitive surface. To bring this idea to life, he turned to silver nitrate, a chemical known for its sensitivity to light. By applying the silver nitrate to pieces of leather or paper, he created a medium that could react to the presence of light. In its dormant state, silver nitrate is colorless, but when exposed to light, it undergoes a chemical reaction, transforming into dark color. Wedgwood carefully arranged objects on the light-sensitive surface and exposed them to sunlight. The areas covered by the objects shielded the surface, remaining colorless, while the exposed areas reacted to the light, turning dark. This ingenious process resulted in silhouette images capturing the essence of the objects in a unique and captivating way. However, Wedgwood encountered a significant challenge in his experiments, the inability to fix these images permanently. Whenever the light-sensitive surface was exposed to light, the entire surface would darken, causing the image to fade away. This limitation prevented Wedgwood from achieving a lasting photographic image, frustrating his effort to preserve these captivating silhouettes. Despite his relentless pursuit of a solution, Wedgwood was unable to overcome this hurdle during his lifetime. The inability to fix the images permanently remained for him an unsolved mystery. With his chemistry experiments and inventive, inventive spirits, he truly proved that he couldn't be confined to just one box. That guy opened the way to one of the most famous artists of the 19th century, Nicefo Nietzsche. Across the English Channel, a French inventor named Nicephor Nietzsche was about to make history. Nietzsche, a former officer in Napoleon's army, was experimenting with lithography and light-sensitive materials. He used a camera obscura, a device known for centuries, and a light-sensitive material called bitumen. After several hours of exposure, he developed the image using a mixture of oil of lavender and white petroleum. The result is the world's first permanent photograph known as View from a Window at Le Gras. This marks a significant milestone in the history of photography. Nietzsche's success lays the foundation for future developments in photography, paving the way for the future photographic processes that will soon follow. However, Nietzsche faced numerous challenges along the way. The light-sensitive material used required long exposure time and was difficult to work with. He experimented with various chemical substances and techniques to improve the sensitivity and stability of the material. Through trial and error, he discovered that bitumen, when exposed to light over an extended period, underwent chemical changes that resulted in a permanent image. Another challenge was the sensitivity and stability of a bitumen. Nietzsche aimed to achieve the optimal balance between the sensitivity to light and stability of the image. 
He experimented with various chemical substances and techniques to improve the sensitivity and stability of a bitumen, aiming to reduce exposure time and enhance the quality of a resulting image. Imagine, the subject had to remain still for hours to achieve a properly exposed photograph, making it difficult to capture moving subject or scenes with significant motion. Fixing the image permanently was also a significant challenge for Nipche. He struggled to find a method that would prevent the image from deteriorating or fading when exposed to light. This limitation meant that the images created by Nipche were not fully permanent and could degrade over time. Additionally, Nipche had to work with the technical limitation of the equi equipment and technology available during his experiments. The camera obscura, while effective for projecting images, had limitation in terms of image clarity and precision. Nipche had to work with the tools and material available at that time, which posed additional challenges in achieving the desired results. Nicephore and Nipche's groundbreaking achievements in photography are the results of his relentless experimentation and innovative spirit. Inspired by his interest in lithography and the desire to capture images permanently, Nipche dedicated himself to finding a solution. The creation of View from the Window at Le Grau is a testament to Nipche's perseverance and technical ingenuity. It showcases the potential of photography as a medium for capturing moments in time and preserving them for the future generation. Nipche's pioneering work laid the foundation for the development of another great achievement with his collaborator, Louis Daguerre. Together, they pushed the boundaries of photography and set the stage for the transformative advancement that would follow in the field. Louis Daguerre, a French artist and inventor, continued to refine the photographic process. His collaboration with Nipche led to the development of the daguerreotype, an early photographic technique that produced highly detailed and sharp images. Daguerre initially pursued a career as a painter and became well known for his dioramas, which were large-scale panoramic paintings displayed with theatrical lightning effects. Daguerre's most significant achievement came in 1839 when he announced the invention of the daguerreotype process, which marked a major breakthrough in the history of photography. The daguerreotype process involved exposing a silver-coated copper plate to light and developing it with mercury vapor. This resulted to a highly detailed and permanent image. A journey of creating a daguerreotype started with a meticulous preparation of a special silver-coated copper plate. Daguerre polished the plate to a mirror-like finish, establishing a smooth surface that would precisely capture, capture the image. Following this, the plate was sensitized using iodine vapor, making it light-sensitive and forming a layer of silver iodide on its surface. This process imbued the plate with the ability to see and react to the world around it, seeing the stage for the creation of a unique and detailed image. With the plate prepared and sensitized, it was time to expose it to light. The sensitized plate was carefully placed inside the camera and the lens was opened to allow light to enter. The exposure time varied depending on the lighting conditions and the sensitivity of the plate. It could run from just a few seconds to several minutes, capturing the essence of a scene in front of a camera. After the exposure, the plate underwent a development process that transformed the latent image into a visible one, bringing the image to life. This step was like unveiling the hidden beauty captured by the plate. To make the image permanent and ensure its longevity, the plate went through a fixing process. This step solidified the image, making it resistant to fading or deterioration over time. The resulting daguerreotype image was a unique piece of art that could not be replicated. Each plate held a one kind of image, making it highly valued as a personal memento or cherished portrait. The level of detail and clarity achieved by the daguerreotype process was unparalleled at the time, capturing the finest facial features and intricate texture with remarkable precision. These precious daguerreotypes were often housed in protective cases, crafted with care for material like leather or wood. These cases safeguarded the delicate plates, ensuring that the images would be preserved for generations to come. To view a daguerreotype, one will need to angle it to reflect light as the images appeared as positive reflections on the plate's polished surface. It was a magical experience to see these captured moments come to life. The popularity of daguerreotype process spread like wildfire, and daguerreotype studios began to emerge worldwide. 
where groundbreaking technique played a crucial role in the democratization of photography, making it accessible to a wider audience and anything passion for capturing and preserving images. The daguerreotype process marked a significant milestone in the history of photography, setting the stage for the development of subsequent photographic techniques and technologies that continue to shape the world of visual storytelling. It revolutionized the field of photography and as it provided a practical and accessible way to capture and preserve images. But Daguerre's contribution to photography extended beyond the daguerreotype process. Daguerre understood the vital role that lenses played in capturing clear and detailed images. With unwavering dedication, he embarked on a mission to develop lenses that will elevate, elevate the clarity and sharpness of photographs. Through extensive experimentation with various material and design, Daguerre aimed to improve the optical properties of lenses using cameras. One of his notable achievements was the creation of achromatic lenses. These meticulously crafted lenses were designed to minimize chromatic aberration, a phenomenon that plagued early photographs with color fringing and distortion. Daguerre skillfully combined different types of glass with varying refractive indices, reducing these imperfections and producing sharper, more accurate images. Driven by an unwavering devotion to excellence, Daguerre tirelessly sought to optimize lens design. He ventured into different shapes, curvatures, and element arrangements, searching for the ideal formula to achieve improved focus, reduced in distortion, and sharper image quality. With each experiment, he pushed the boundaries of lens technology paving the way for future advancement in the field. In his relentless pursuit of perfection, Daguerre also aimed to create lenses with larger apertures. These wider openings allowed for increased light gathering capabilities, enabling faster shutter speed and better performance in challenging low light conditions. The results was nothing short of extraordinary. Images were not only sharper but also filled with exquisite detail, capturing moments in all the glory. During the Renaissance, artists sought to achieve accuracy and realism in their works, leading to the exploration of optical devices like the camera obscura. This quest for precision laid the foundation for the birth of photography. Innovators such as Thomas Wedgwood, Nicephor Nipce, and Rida Gere made groundbreaking discoveries in the pursuit of capturing the world with unprecedented detail. Wedgwood's experiments with silver nitrate and silhouette image were revolutionary. Even though they were not permanently fixed, Nipte's use of bitumen and long exposure times resulted in the creation of the first permanent photograph. Daguerre's invention of the daguerreotype process produced highly detailed and sharp images, while his advancements in lens technology minimized chromatic aberration and improved image quality through the lens coating. These pioneers paved the way for future evolution of photography, forever changing the way we capture and preserve our experiences. Their relentless pursuit of precision and innovation opened the door to a new area of visual storytelling. If you like this journey through the history of photography, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more captivating content. Hit the bell icon to be informed of the upcoming video and don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Stay tuned for future exploration into the world of art, science and innovation. See you soon.